1939, the armies of Nazi Germany begin their conquest of Europe. First of all is Poland, then Denmark, Norway, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Now the year is 1941. With an army over seven million strong, the Nazi war machine turns to the east and begins the invasion of the Soviet Union. Using blitzkrieg tactics, they advance quickly, smashing relentlessly through the Soviet defenses and arrive at the capital city of Moscow in under four months. Desperately short of reinforcements, the Soviet defense of Moscow now falls to thousands of raw recruits who must hold out against the well-trained German forces in the freezing cold of the Russian winter. Welcome to basic training, comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Now, walk over to that table and pick up those weapons. You will have to move faster than that, comrade. You will need a real weapon if you wish to kill the fascists. Look at your compass. The star on the compass shows the location of your current objective. Now, go to the storeroom and get a pistol and a rifle. Move! Good. Now go back and report to the commissar. Very good, comrade. Always remember to use the star on your compass to reach your current objective. Okay, Vasily. Let us see how good your aim is. Aim for one of those two teddy bears. Good, now fire at the other one. Pistols and submachine guns might be good for short-range, comrade, but for long-range targets, a rifle is better. Step up to the shooting range. Ready, comrades? Shoot those bottles and plates. Imagine that they are the enemy. Aim down your sights, Vasily. You will be much more accurate that way. Not bad, not bad. Very good, comrade. That's enough, Vasily. Now, let's see how well you can do under pressure. You have 15 seconds to shoot the helmets. Ready? Go! Now come over here and bash this mannequin with your rifle. That's enough, comrades. Come over here and pick up a grenade. These are potatoes, comrade commissar. Why are we using potatoes instead of real grenades? Because real grenades are valuable. In fact, they are worth a lot more than you are. Oh, of course, comrade commissar. My, my mistake. Now throw a potato into each of those marked target areas. Not bad, not bad. Good throw. Not bad, not bad. Comrade Commissar! Comrade Commissar! We've got a prisoner. Come take a look. Unsere Truppen und so Comrade Commissar, he says the enemy is moving behind our lines und, und to the southeast and they are supported by half trucks and, and mobile artillery. Sir, there's a German attack forming to the southeast. It looks serious. Listen, comrades. There is an armory to the east in the basement of a house. Go there and load up on ammunition and supplies. I will stay and take care of our guest. Remember what you have learned. Good luck. We're going to take out some pencil workers, comrades. 
grab a submachine gun and make sure you reload it first. Always make sure you have a full magazine before you go into battle. Let's go, comrades! Up the ladder! Vasily, wait! Don't run out there! Throw a smoke grenade first to conceal our movement! Wait! Wait for the smoke to fail! Hold your positions, comrades! Just a bit more! Let's go! Better training, comrade, than fighting to survive.
time you showed up. This way, comrades.
themselves on the upper forts. Shouldn't we ask them for <laughs> surrender, comrade? I'll ask them and I've blown them to hell! Cut the explosives up here now! Right away, comrade lieutenant. We need engineers up here! Get the explosives! I've got some TNT! I'll get started over here! Better you than me, Mashiskas! Get some explosives from the engineers and plant them where they will do some good. Here you go, comrade. Set these charges on the main support. Quickly! Sergey, cover me while I'm reloading! Stalingrad, 1942. German forces, having reduced the city to rubble in a massive aerial bombardment, meet with heavy resistance as the Soviet Red Army throws its entire force into the defense of Stalingrad. In the chaos of constant warfare, battle lines have dissolved. The ruins of the city have been divided up into hard points surrounded by no man's land. The German tactical advantage of the mechanized Blitzkrieg and its coordinated infantry and tank attacks is rendered useless in the concentrated street fighting. Threatened with execution if they retreat, the Soviet troops have no choice but to push forward into the bloodbath. Vasily, take second squad and repair the field phone wire. I'll clear these buildings with first squad and meet you on the other side. Go!
chance to pass their score more than we just to die! Look out! Enemy grenade! Enemy uh, grenade. Uh, back here! I will be right behind you, Kong! 